Getting started with automated statements for CS PracticeWorks practice management software. Automated statements lets you send professional statements to your patients with the click of a mouse. If you are not currently a subscriber, contact your CareStream representative for more information at 800-262-8593. Configuring System Settings Before you can send automated statements to the PracticeWorks Clearinghouse, you must configure the software. From the Start menu, select All Programs, CS PracticeWorks, Configuration of CS PracticeWorks. The Configuration Utility is displayed. From the Setup menu, select General Configuration. Click the plus sign next to Preferences, then Automated Statements, and then click Select Automated Statements Program. In the Value field, Use the drop-down list to select PracticeWorks eServices and click Save Entry. Click Close to return to the Configuration Utility. Select Setup, Automated Statements, Automated Statement Service. In the Statement Type field, use the drop-down list to select the statement type that reflects the credit cards accepted by your practice. To send online statements to patients via email, click Enable Online Statements. Click OK to save any changes and then exit the configuration utility. To set up automated statements, select File, Preferences, Statement Setup. The office-wide statement setup window includes many options. Use the Minimum Balance to Print field to set the lowest balance an account can have and still receive a statement. The billing cycle can be set monthly or in a specific number of days. Most offices select monthly, which results in a statement cycle of roughly 30 days and statements are sent on the same day each month. If you choose to print an amount due and due date, you must indicate how many days after the statement is printed the payment will be due. For example, if the statement prints on the 10th and this field is set to 14, the statement will say the payment is due on the 24th. You can charge a late charge if the payment is not received by the due date. Late charges are posted when the patient's last payment is past due and the grace period has passed. Feel free to pause this recording and take a look at the remaining fields. An explanation of each field is available in PracticeWorks Online Help. To edit messages that print on billing statements, Select File, Preferences, Statement Messages, and then select the type of message you want to view. Let's start with the Amount Due and Date messages. The messages on the left contain a variation of the same message, and the angle brackets contain variables. A variable is a value that changes from statement to statement, depending on the details of the account. The panes on the right display the variables you can use when you edit the text of the message. View the message for a normal statement balance, a statement with an amount past due, and a statement with a partial amount past due, and make any changes. Click OK. Next, let's take a look at the account age messages. Message text can be edited for daily statement messages, messages to insured patients, and accounts 30 days overdue, 60 days overdue, 90 days overdue, and 120 days overdue. Click OK to save any changes. Customizing account settings. Online statements can also be enabled by account. Open the clipboard and enter a valid email address in the email field. Then click the AR Setup button. In the eStatements Delivery Options section of the Account Information window, select Online for this account to receive online statements. Use the Send via Mail option for the PracticeWorks Clearinghouse to send your automated statements to your patients for you. Preparing Automated Statements To prepare automated statements, select File, Print, Statements, Prepare Statement Run. PracticeWorks displays a warning that you are about to prepare the statement run. This cannot be undone after you create your statement batch. Click Yes.
a status box is displayed to indicate that the statements are being prepared. Do not select the Begin Printing When Done option for electronic statements. When the statements are ready, a message is displayed. Click Yes to continue. You are prompted to select a submission method. Select Submit Electronically and then click OK. The statements are added to the statement queue. Browse through the statements in the queue to verify before sending. To remove any statement you do not want to send electronically, select it and click Remove This Statement. To add an individual message to one statement in the batch, highlight the statement and click View Clipboard. In the Responsible Party section, click the yellow sticky icon. Type your note into the yellow sticky and click Attach. The message will not appear on the billing statement unless On Mail Out Statement is selected. Then, select an option for when the note should deactivate. Click OK when all options are set. To preview the contents of a statement before sending, select a statement and click Preview Contents. For security measures, the Print button is disabled in the preview window and This is not a statement appears in two places. A printer must be installed for the preview functionality to work. Transmitting automated statements. After you have reviewed the statement queue, added notes, and removed statements you do not want to send, click Send All Statements. Your computer connects and transmits the statement batch. A confirmation window is displayed when the statements are sent and then you are prompted to print reports. Click Yes. The PracticeWorks eServices Reports window is displayed. From here, you can filter and select the reports you want to print, including the Statement Transmission Summary Report. Highlight the report and click Preview. The Statement Transmission Report contains the date, statement count, and total page count of the batch and lists the responsible party and amount due for each statement. This concludes getting started with automated statements for CS PracticeWorks practice management software.